Oh, as usual again, Black Clover in the society, society is just like so confused. They're like, how are these commoners getting it? And I love that this got addressed. I love that the Emperor, and just this is why I really did like this chapter. This is why I thought this chapter was so amazing because, uh, in, in relevance to the whole series and like the themes, this is powerful. Because one of the main things in Black Clover was like the society, was like. Yeah, the society, not society, sorry, it was kind of like uh, social kind of class and all that kind of stuff. That was a big problem in Black Clover. If you were from, if you were from the, like, the rural areas, if you were poor, like, they didn't think you were good enough. They didn't think, they looked down on you. Everything was kind of dictated by your status and by your worth and by your bloodline. So people like you know and Asta, when they were coming, they were coming from nowhere. And they were orphans as well. Yeah, that weren't good. Like in society, they were viewed as the lowest of the lowest. So people like Fueglion or like uh, what's his name? Us, oh, the House of Silver. Those people from like the royal houses, the bloodlines. They were they're the cream of the crop. So I really did like it how in this chapter Tabata really did emphasise on that. Not only just through you know because of how strong he is and pretty much as his character in itself, the man has no magic, yet they got up this far. And I think it's amazing because um, in this series of the stars, the rating of the stars is so cool because, yeah, let's, yeah, let's pick up this social class thing. Uh, if you um, if you're from a royal bloodline and all that kind of thing, society or everyone, they would assume you'd get the most stars. They'd assume you'd be the most powerful. But in fact, Asta and you know they defied it. They didn't conform to that. They were the they were the exceptions, and I really did love that. And especially how the emperor was coming up, and the emperor was just like. Um, these guys work their hardest and let's unite and all that kind of stuff. I think it was awesome to be honest. So yeah, this chapter, I really did enjoy this chapter. So hey guys, how's it going on? Shinomi Sam, here to do a review on Black Clover chapter 106. Now, yeah, like, it was, it was a great chapter. Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, I, I believe it was, the, it, it was the kid that got last. The, the, uh, the dear Aqua Squad. Um, he's just... I, I don't know, he's kind of interesting. I'd like to know a little bit more about him. He's 19, so he's only three years older than Asta. He's the youngest captain. So he's, yeah, he's basically Toshiro from Bleach. He's kind of like that. Obviously, different personality, but, um, you know, he's the young, he's kind of like the child prodigy kind of thing. That's what it seems like Tabata is going for with this captain. So, uh, number three was uh, House of Silver, his, her brother's uh, squad. I think number five was uh, the Crimson Lion one, so that's pretty cool. Number four was Blue Roses. Crimson Lion, that's obviously with the new captain. And I think well, number eight was the new captain one as well. So that was uh, the Violet Orca one. I may be incorrect. I have to go and read it. I, I, I'm just doing it off my memory right now. I, I remember number six was the Praying Mantis guy, a.k.a. Kenpachi. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was pretty cool. And I just kind of find it funny how all of this is happening. And Yami's still not there. Like, he's still standing there. Obviously, like, William and Yami, they've got that kind of... William? No. Yes? William? No. Yes. Is his name William? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's, um... Junus. Julius. 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 Yes, yes. I don't know. Like, names today. I, I don't know why I'm forgetting names today. It's a bit odd. But either way, one of them days, eh? So, yes. It, I just find it funny because, like, Yami's not there. And we do understand, like, the Emperor and Yami, like, they've got that kind of relationship. It's kind of like a father-son kind of thing. Um, so obviously he's not that triggered, but like he's, it's just hilarious, like all the captains are there, this is like a big ceremony, and Yami's still chilling down there, so I kind of found that funny, but it was really cool, I remember um, last week, that was what I was pretty much talking about, I was just like, you're getting acknowledged for what you've done, and it's cool when Aston and Yuna, they're standing there, and it's just like, look how far we've come. And, and it's kind of, that brought some feels on me, I'm not going to lie. I think that's so relatable with everyone, to be honest. Like, you, you do something, you aim for something, and you look back on the things that you've done. You look back and you're just like, wow, I actually did this. Wow. Um, it's, it's not like a, it's, it is a feeling of pride to an extent, but it's more like satisfaction. It's more of like gratifying, um, like gratify, not gratifying yourself, but it's more like being satisfied. Not... Yeah, I feel it's kind of like an intrinsic feeling of like, wow, I've done this, like, of being happy. It's kind of like gladness, like glee, because you're just, but you also can't, 
like it's so surreal as well. So, so that thing, that's what I got from when I read that. I uh, read when I saw that page. You see Aston, you know, they're looking down on the town, and it's just so it's it's kind of, it's deep because obviously they're from the lowest of the lowest, and so now they're right, at, at, literally they're at the top, like symbolically as as well, but literally as well, they're right at the top of the tower, pretty much. So. Yeah, it, it was pretty cool, and I can tell you, when, when the anime comes out, when that gets animated, the OST, the animation, that's just going to bring out the feels, bro. Like, you're going to feel that, and you're going to be like, wow, look how they've come. They're probably going to put some flashbacks as well from, like, chapter one, chapter two, you know how anime always rolls. They're probably going to do something like that, but it's justified, and it's pretty cool to see how far they've come, and yeah, look how far they've come, look how far we've come. 106 chapters of Black Clover, wow, I, I, uh, honestly... It does not sound, it doesn't seem like we've been here 106 chapters over two years. It's kind of crazy. It really is. But yeah, I, I know guys, we want to talk about that last page reveal and that is the king. Now, I'm kind of hyped to see what the king is. He's been mentioned many times. Um, so I'm kind of intrigued to see what he'll be like. Uh, I'm wondering if he's going to be like a pompous kind of character. Like, is he going to be the epitome of what society is right now? Um, is he going to be like, oh, I'm the king, bow before me kind of person? Or is he going to be a humble person? Or is he going to be similar to the emperor, magic emperor? So, yeah, I'm really intrigued to that. Also, um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm intrigued by his relevance as well. I hope he's... I hope he's not a king, like, uh, in this series, I hope he, he's going to be relevant to it, like, I hope he just doesn't be like, oh yeah, we've turned, we've seen the king, now you won't see me for, like, until the next ceremony kind of thing, maybe he has some relevance, maybe you actually even have, like, a role in one of the upcoming arcs, that would be pretty cool, um, so guys, yeah, that's enough for me, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you thought about this chapter awesome chapter uh, it was pretty cool seeing you know got that full power as well that was really awesome as well you know just showing it just putting it in to show you how powerful he is amidst him not being a royal amidst him not being highborn all that kind of stuff he just worked hard for it and he was just picked but you could argue that you know him getting picked by the, the clover and you know the wind spirit maybe he's got a little bit of special in him but you know we'll leave that out we will discuss that either way guys if you, if you liked anything that i'd say please drop a like that would be greatly appreciated subscribe for weekly reviews of black clover if you haven't and i'll see you next week for that greatness that is chapter 107 let's continue the discussion down below peace out guys goodbye